So now you know how many leads you need. Next, you need to go and get them. Next, you need to go and get them. So this is where the fifth and most vital part of the plan comes in. This is the marketing system. The marketing system that does the job of getting the volume of leads and patients for you. So without the system, you've essentially got the route to us. You've got the map. You've got the, the, the treasure map, but no keys to open the chest. So we can't leave it at the plan. So you do need now to add on some hustle and some work and some doing things, but not till you've created the plan. The plan always must come first. So the plan tells you what you need and the system goes and gets it for you. If that's what you, you know, you want it to do. There's many of you on this webinar now. So let me give you an example. There's many of you on this webinar where you've opted in from a Facebook ad to a web page, got the emails and showed up and we haven't done anything for weeks. I was in bed when some of you registered for this webinar, right? That, that's, that's automation, right? That's a system. That's the, the, the like legitimate system. That's what we all want. Right now, as I speak to you, hundreds of people are getting emails, phone calls, and letters sent to them from my office. People are opting in on Facebook ads, finding me on Google. I'm sat 3,500 miles away. I created most of the stuff five years ago. It was the only way I could get across here. I had to have a system in play that, by and large, 80% of it runs automated. And that's what ultimately so many people are, are on here for. I'm, I'm aware of that. So the fifth thing that you need is a marketing system. Have you got the system to execute the plan? So think of marketing system as how you will get there. We know you want 120 grand additional profit. How are you going to get there? So the plan acts as the roadmap. The system is the vehicle, essentially. The system can fuel and accelerate your growth. And in conjunction with the right plan, it's much easier to be successful and achieve your financial goals. To be successful, you will need both. So you ready to look at the system? Everybody have a, a good drink. I'm going to put this down because it's starting to get a little uh, hot right now here in... Uh Florida, that sunshine just gets a little strong occasionally here in uh, here in Orlando. Um, how's life back in Britain uh, right now? Uh, three parts to your system. So we need three, okay? Everybody want to carry on? Everybody happy so far? Good. Type into the chat. Come on. If you haven't typed into the chat, just say hello. Please don't just sit there. You'll fall asleep if you just sit there. Type into the chat. Let me know if you want to keep going. Peter says hello. Nice to hear from you, Peter. Hello, Gus. Nice to hear from you as well. Uh, yes, sir, says Michael. Thanks, PG. Keep going, keep going. Let's roll, we roll. Good, good, good. All right. Repetition helps me change my thinking. Lisa says yes. All right. So these are the three parts to your system. All right. This is ultimately what we need. Uh, three parts to the system. An attraction system, a buy system, and a cash value system. These are the three parts that your marketing system must have. These are what I invented a few years ago. This was really what I brought to the physical therapy world, this whole concept of three systems, three parts. Before that, it was just advertising. Pre-Paul, pre-accelerator method, it was just advertise, sell, market your business, and so on. No, no, no. You need three parts to a system for it to work. And that was the exact plan that I wrote uh, six years ago now on a flight back from Chicago, where I first got taught how to do this. And it was, uh, I called it new patient overload, emails, phone calls, uh, letters, uh, web forms, advertisements, the whole thing, right? It, it is mega. So it's gone, um, it's gone off now like a rocket for businesses all across the US. These are the three different uh, types of systems. The attraction system. The attraction system, it gets you the volume of leads that you need. It's a mean uh, of targeting and attracting your perfect patient that you identified in the plan. It's about using the media or platform that you identified in the plan and using different media to get your message in front of the person you identified in the same plan. You want to offer them something of value, right? Value, value, value. So any of you who are having problems with patients not wanting to pay or just putting the phone down the minute they hear, you know, the, the, the cost, whether it's out of network cost, copay cost, or just the cash cost, it's because there's no value in advance. Just every, I, I don't think I can get this across. This is the most pivotal bit to understand about your business. Does everybody understand what I mean about this bit? And for some of you, you're not going to believe me when I tell you that, that the reason that they're saying no is not because... Eugene, it's different in, in Staten Island, or Peter, it's different in California, or Bavti, it's different up in New Jersey or New York, wherever that area is that you're from, right? It's not that. It's because there's no value before they call you, right? Look at many of the businesses that you buy from where you're spending significant sums of money. They've either marketed to you or you found them 
and you've got information from them fast. Everything that you buy that is of a reasonable value, and by the way, physical therapy is in that bracket now. If there is no information given fast, I won't buy from you. Nothing to do with money. As a patient, I'm not going to say, Babti, the reason I'm not buying from you is because you didn't give me enough information. You didn't give me any videos. You didn't give me any free reports. And I didn't find you any blogs or expert tip style columns on your website. I'm not going to say that. But that's the reality. You have no choice to accept it. You can bitch and whine and whinge and moan about the fact that people don't want to pay for the next 25 years of your life, should you wish to. Or we can face up to the thing that we are in control of. We are in control of, of giving value. And value comes in the form of the most simplest thing on planet Earth, information. Information. Eugene, who on planet Earth do you know that doesn't want information to make good decisions? Come on. What on Earth is going through your head? Who on planet Earth does not want information to make a decision on a two grand fucking purchase called physical therapy? These people are spending so much fucking money now with you. We've got to get in the real world. They know jack shit about what we do. Nothing. Nothing. Eugene, they don't make impulsive buys. People make impulsive buys on things under $100. I make impulsive buys on candy for Harry. I make impulsive buys on super soakers for Tobias. I make impulsive buys at Disneyland this afternoon for a fucking Spider-Man t-shirt, right? That's $34.99. But I don't make impulsive buys on $2,000 fucking tickets. I don't make impulsive buys on $2,000 physical therapy that'll take four weeks and take 10 sessions to fix. I need information. If I'm walking into Disneyland today and I'm thinking of doing a Disney cruise, am I signing up for one there and there? Or is what is the truth that will happen is there will be a nice little booth when I walk through the doors later on today. When I walk through the doors of Disney today, I will be multiple times sold on a timeshare, on a cruise, on various different things. But they're not asking me to hand over a two grand fucking check right there and then. They're basically saying, here, do you want a brochure? Here, would you like to come to an event? Here, can I get somebody to call you? Would you like to sign up for an information pack so that you can make a good decision on the next Disney cruise that you might like to spend money on? That's what you are doing. That's what every single person on planet Earth is doing. That's what I'm imploring you to put into your business because this is what they need. It is not insurance problems. It's not fucking out of network problems. It's a lack of information problems. And I'll never, ever, ever buy from you unless you fix that. People in my area would rather spend $1,000 on Gucci. Absolutely, Eugene. You've got to, Eugene, I'd love to get inside of your head and rip whatever's going on. There must be mental torture going on inside of your brain. Like every time I speak to you, it's my town this, my town that, my town the other. Every fucking town wants to spend $1,000 on Gucci. Damn fucking right. Where I'm from, they want to spend $1,000 on Gucci. Why? Because it's called a fucking gratifying purchase. This is the point, Eugene, and this is the point, everybody listening. They won't spend $1,000 on physical therapy because it doesn't fucking gratify them. Therefore, they will spend $1,000 on a Gucci watch. They will spend $1,000 on a fucking TV on Amazon. Absolutely, which is my point. They have got the money, Eugene. It's not a money issue. It's a, they think they can get a better deal and, and, and more fun and something better from somebody else for their $1,000. You have to change that. Here's what life looks like. Here's the equivalent of the Gucci feeling. They're not buying a Gucci watch. They're buying a fucking feeling. They're buying confidence. They're buying certainty in a Gucci watch. When they call you, how much certainty are they getting? What feeling are they getting from you? Probably other than a, well, this is the price. It's $150. Oh, well, um, um, oh, oh, sorry to have lost you. Oh, these fucking out-of-network clients, they never want to pay. Exactly, watch Gucci. What is fucking Gucci? A, a clothing maker, a watch maker, a bag maker, whatever it is. It's, it's irrelevant. Think Rolex, right? It's irrelevant. Think, though, more in terms of gratifying things. People will spend $1,000 on gratifying things. Physical therapy, and this has been my point for five years that I'm trying to get everybody to wake up to, we are not a gratifying product. We are not an urgent need product. We are bottom of the pile. 
And if the fucking lecturers at PT school actually got us to wake up to this, we'd all have very, very different egos. And instead of thinking that we have the most valuable skills on planet Earth, which we do, by the way, incredibly valuable skills, here's the big problem, the massive problem, the people who we need to pay us don't see it that way. That's my job, marketing. That's what we get paid for. That's the difference between a business owner that makes a shitload of money with okay skills, even decent skills, then the business owner who struggles for 30 years with the best skills. Fact. The, the faster that we face up to this, the quicker that these problems will go away. This is true understanding, Eugene. Mastery of how people live, how people buy, what they buy. They're not buying physical therapy. They're buying an outcome. They're not buying a fucking watch from Gucci for $1,000. They're bored. They need some gratification. They're having a midlife crisis. They've had a shit week at work. Their kids are badly behaved. They'll go online and spend $1,000 to make themselves feel better for the one hour that the hit lasts. And then they'll fucking do it again next week. That's how people get into debt. That's why people have miserable, bored lives by the time they get to a certain age because they don't understand what they're buying. I'm trying to help every single one of the 500 people on this webinar understand facts, facts of how a human being buys what they buy, reverse engineer it so that we can have more successful businesses. It starts with information to help me understand what the fuck I am buying. And if you want $1,500 from me, you want $2,000 from me, I will give it to you, but not if I don't understand what I'm getting. If I don't understand what is waiting for me at the rainbow, the, the, the end of the rainbow, the other side, I will not give you the money. And you will always be blaming Staten Island. You'll always be blaming Phoenix, Scottsdale, Hartlepool, Newcastle, Denver, wherever the fuck you're listening to this thing. The same bullshit is going on in your head as every, 500 per, every one of the 500 people on this webinar right now. You have no choice but to make a shift towards information first in your business or it will be painful. And we'll, you'll be back on this webinar in five years going, oh, Staten Island, oh, Phoenix, it's getting worse here in Phoenix. This doesn't, this doesn't work in Orlando. This fucking thing, oh, this recession. It's the most fucking prosperous time on planet Earth for the last hundred years. People have got more money right now than ever before. They're spending it more than ever before. We're, we're getting close to another fucking tip. Be ready for it. Free reports look like this. The tips report. Tips report serves as a bridge from skepticism and fear. Rule 101 of business. How do I take you, Mr. Skeptical? Right now, Eugene, Mr. Skeptical about everything. Literally, right? And every, that's where we are. That's how we all are born, by the way. Skeptical about everything. What's the difference between being skeptical and certain? You bet. Information. Information that helps me understand what it is I'm getting into. That if you want my $2,000, help me understand it. A bridge is free information in the form of free reports, videos. No coincidence, some of you are on here. How many people right now are on here? You've been watching videos of me on YouTube. You've listened to my podcasts. I'm giving you information. Uh, why do I write books? It's a gateway to buying my products and services. I have to give you information in advance of sales. That's the way it works. I have to do it in this business. I have to do it in my physio business. I have to do it in any business that I want to set up in the future. Videos are another way about solving problems. Blogs, having them all over your website, solving specific problems of the person that you want to do business with. Newspaper ads, they are still still pound for pound one of the best ways of getting new patients this is what our clients are doing right now these are some of the best marketing campaigns that we've seen this year whether it's happening in uh, in, in um, north carolina whether it's happening over in uh, detroit area whether it's happening in washington san diego newspaper ads still position you as an expert and they bring in a trickle of five six seven calls every week Every week, run two ads a month, there's 15 of your leads. Most importantly, you're positioned as an expert. That's where the pricing conversation starts to become irrelevant. Expert tips articles. Give people information. Run an ad and just write five things to do to, to ease your back pain. Stick it in your local newspaper. You can't tell me of 15,000 people reading a newspaper. I love this comment. Oh, but nobody reads the newspapers anymore. Really? 
no, what, nobody? Not one person? Oh, well, newspapers have gone down. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, 10 years ago, there was 40,000 people. Now there's only 15,000 people. Well, guess what, Sherlock? I don't need 15,000 fucking people. I need five. If I can't get five people out of 15,000, I'm putting a gun to my head and ending it right now. Like, that's the reality. I don't need 40,000 people. I only need five. And I can get that from a newspaper ad. But guess what? Here's the best news. Because there isn't 40,000 people reading the newspaper anymore. Guess what? It isn't as expensive anymore. It would have cost me two grand to put an ad in for 40,000 people, which as a small business, I might not have been able to afford. But because now advertising costs in newspaper is a third of what it was 10 years ago, I can get my ad run for three, four, five hundred dollars. Oh, there's always a yin and a yang. If you choose to see it and not get caught up in the dogmatic way of thinking or lack of thinking that most people exert these days. So we found the combination of these types of articles where we give away free tips, but also at the same time offer information and somebody to call the office and get works very, very well. Double response. If you can position yourself as an expert and then offer free information for people to come and get from you, bingo, there's the magic. So strategy on Facebook the clients are using. Some of my ads right now look like this. So the educational video goes out first. We build trust. Anybody who watches the video, we retarget to them and we offer them a free information report on back pain. Significantly lowers the cost. I can get a video watched probably for 10 cents, 20 cents equivalent, and it means I can get an opt-in on Facebook for probably 5 or $6 equivalent, right? You try running a Facebook ad right now, people are, are struggling because they're literally just whacking up a, hey, book an appointment style ad that nobody wants. I can pick up leads on Facebook for probably 6 $7 with this strategy. And I've been running it for five, six, seven years. People who do the Accelerator program with me, I'll show you my first ad from 2013. In fact, it might even be 2012. August 2012, I think it was, when the Facebook platform very first opened for ads. I've got the original ad that I run six years ago. I've gone on to spend over hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook because it works. It works. Right now, the sweet spot is about five or $600 a month. And that's all I ever ask any of our clients to spend. $15 a day, $20 a day max, you get a good return of, of 10 to 15 leads from Facebook every single month. Quizzes work brilliantly well. We invented this thing. Uh, the low back injury severity assessment, and we get people to answer 10 questions on, on Facebook. Uh, you ain't answering a quiz on Facebook about back pain if you haven't got Facebook. We get somebody's telephone number, engage with us on the quiz, and we give them a call 24 hours later and say, hey, here's the results of your, your survey. This is what we think we can do to help you. So Facebook, um, a lot of people wanted to know, well, how do you make you know, Facebook work these days? Well, here it is. This is what we do for clients. Um, different types of videos, different calls to action, whether it is uh, an educational video, whether it's click to take the quiz, whether it's send us a message on Facebook, which we're seeing more and more people do now. Uh, we're moving a lot of our clients towards send a message through Facebook and have a chat there, which makes it much easier uh, to get in touch with people. Uh, fill out a form, click a link below, take a free guide many many different ways to make it work if you've tried facebook you'll know it can be frustrating significant changes uh, at facebook make it very difficult for you to get your ads to even run these days never mind anything else we have an agency now and we spend i, I want to say 40 50 grand a month on facebook for all of our clients we have a direct link to facebook which gives us dare i say a, a, a slight advantage because all of our ads get run into one big well-known account. Paul Goff Media has a direct line with Facebook. We've got our own uh, line to them. We have our own rep there. We can pick up the phone if ads don't get uh, accepted and so on. And we, you know, we get accounts to run. That, that is a big problem for many of the smaller businesses is that Facebook just don't want to run your ad. And that's a huge, huge issue. But if you can get them to make it work for you, um, it's, it's massive. The issue is that they've reached capacity. So they literally just, they, they don't need that much more advertising now and they're just Darwinian. They just whack ads they don't like um, and they only stay with the ad companies or the ad providers that they, you know, that they trust. These are the types of ads that we're running and, and we're seeing over the last, certainly this year in 2019, the rise of the video, the quiz um, and the blog. All of those things are working very, very well. But the strategy that we use now is Google Ads plus Facebook. And I'm going to share with you a little bit on that uh, in a moment. Uh, that's Nick over in Australia. We've got Luke there in Washington. And that's a remarketing ad that you can see there for, um, for, for Luke. And a remarketing ad basically means that somebody searched for Luke on his website or, or searched for Luke on Google. What they'll then see on Facebook within five minutes is his ad basically saying, hey, uh, click here for an inquiry about how to start physical therapy uh, with us. So these, these are the ads that are right now working for, uh, for clients. These are some, uh, literally, I asked yesterday for the most up-to-date ads that were running for clients, uh, whether it's Jake down in Florida, 
Uh, we've got Jason there in Texas, and we've got level four PT ads running over in San Diego. Different uh, videos, different messages. Uh, you can see things going on there. Um, send us a message to get your free back pain report. Uh, all around information. Information first. It's, it's working like crazy all across the planet right now for our clients on Facebook. And, and when we add in the remarketing uh, from Google, boom, magic uh, magic happens. The very fact that you then get positioned as a celebrity, uh, less, less, less problems when it comes to, um, when it comes to the, the, the money conversation, uh, Google AdWords, one word, breathtaking, breathtaking results. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like Google in the last uh, three to six months in terms of any impact from any platform consistently, uh, for clients all over the world. Sometimes I'm like, well, we'll start newspaper ads and we'll see how it goes. But with Google ads, we know now uh, artificial intelligence is the big change. And Google has got laser, laser sharp uh, with their platform now and, and their ability to get in front of people who are really, really looking for what you have got. It's now the number one. When I used to do this webinar in the past, it was Facebook for a while. Google has gone way past Facebook for us in terms of what we're seeing for our most successful clients right now. Uh, the number one source of referrals for almost all of the most successful clinic owners that we are working with. So here's some examples, some ad examples of different clinics. I'm just going to share with you uh, five or six there. We can run ads for chronic knee pain. Uh, we can run ads for a stenosis. We can run ads for discovery visits. Um, and we see um, different web pages, you know, respond differently, but so on and so forth. But really, um, if somebody's searching for physical therapy or types in chronic knee pain, what to do about it, uh, PT now it comes up first. Chronic or nagging knee pain, Volk physical therapy. So if you're looking for physical therapy in Concord, uh, you're going to see that ad uh, or at the number one, at the top of Google now. It gets uh, the, the user, if you like, onto the uh, web page and very, very likely to fill out the form for the three, uh, for the 30 minute discovery visit. Why wouldn't they? That's what they've searched for and that's what they've clicked on. So Google AdWords is the express route for me now to, to, you know, for any of the clients that we start working with, just assuming that your website's up to scratch and I'll show you how to do that as well next. Google AdWords is the express route to getting more phone calls. Um, it's the end of free listings. That's the only downside uh, to Google ads. And what that means is if you're uh, relying upon the free business listing that was kind of piddled around a few years ago, everything free is, is by the end a complete waste of time when it comes to marketing. Uh, because the, the, the big companies, Facebook, why did they ban all of the newsfeed stuff? Because everyone was just posting free shit. They're a company. They want to make money. Figure out how to do it uh, at, at a cost uh, that's cost effective for you. So there's an ad, and this was probably three years ago when we did it for Canyon Physical Therapy, um, getting uh, them to number one. What it does is it pushes all the free people down. So um, it, it really is the end of the free listings for, for many people. And you know, if you've been relying upon that, you'll, you'll see that drop down. So Google AdWords is the, the place that we're pushing a lot, of our, um, a lot of our clients now. The opportunity for you to get to the first one, two, and three um, on, on Google uh, is phenomenal. Um, now is the time to get there. Um, so website, let's take a look at some things happening on our clients' websites. They are the vital part of the attraction system. Uh, the purpose of a website is to begin a relationship by providing information. Uh, the recent changes have rendered most websites completely redundant. Um, we had a situation with a client very recently uh, where this happened, um, that their website had issues with certain things and it literally dropped off the face of the earth. It needed to be uh, Google compliant, if you like, uh, what, what I call search to task completion friendly. Um, if you don't have that going on your website, you will have problems. Uh, most websites have a conversion ratio of about 1% uh, when it could be as high as around about 15 to 20 if it's designed with engagement or information first. There's those words again. Information first is, is the key. Not book an appointment first. Information first. Website success really, in a nutshell, comes down to this. So any of the clients that come to me about websites, they either go out to Fleming or they go to Christine with the specific instruction of build them a website with search to task completion in mind. If you don't have search to task completion in mind on your website, not, nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing happening. It means that Google is now looking for signs that somebody engaged with your site. Did they take action on your site? Did they watch a video? Did they scroll a blog post? Did they opt in for a free report? Did they fill out a form? Did they share or like a blog post? If they don't, expect not to be anywhere near the top or even on page one in the next 12 months. 
it, it will be painful for you. So that's your attraction system. Um, to sum that up, right now, if you asked me, I'd say Google, then I'd say Facebook, and then I'd start looking at things like newspapers and postcards underneath that. But Google AdWords and Facebook together, collectively, magic is happening right now for um, many, many, many of our clients. The next thing you need is the nurture system, right, which is this phase here. The, the, the nurture system uh, is ultimately, again, what I believe separates good businesses uh, from world-class businesses, average businesses from, from very good businesses. It's an automated system that allows you to educate people on what you do until the point they want to book. Once the leads have got in touch, your aim is to provide the patient with educational information to help them make a better, more educated, and more informed decision. You could provide them with things like direct mail, email, or phone calls. You could put any of these things into your follow-up system. Um, we design these things, newsletters that you can send out to patients. We've got postcards to send to patients. Um, and that's a, a sneak look at an Infusionsoft account of mine um, with all of the emails that we send. That's kind of how it looks. You know, Each one of those little things there uh, is an email. It's got content inside of it, and it goes out to patients. Um, we put at least uh, and recommend to all of our top clients 30 to 45 days of, of information following the first contact. So if a patient says, oh, I'm not quite ready or I, I don't want to book, that's fine, no problem. We just put you into a follow-up system of emails. We send out a couple of these newsletters that are pre-written pre uh, and maybe one or two postcards as well. Uh, phone is mega. Um, more important than, than ever is the phone. Uh, the follow-up that you have in that nature system. Here's a couple of questions. Literally start with this. If you do nothing uh, other than this this week and you follow up with somebody who said no to you with these two questions, you will have a significant increase in the number of people who buy from you. Ask them this. Don't ring up and say, do you want to book physical therapy? Ring up and say, are you still worried about and insert the blank? If I've called you and I said no, you should have at least understood what I was worried about. Why was I calling you in the first place? Because it wasn't physical therapy. Significantly different than that. I wanted to be able to play golf. I was worried about my back problem getting in the way of golf. So if you ring me and say, are you still worried about that back problem getting in the way of golf? Only one of two things can happen. A, I say, no, I'm not, and I thank you for the phone call, at which point you ask them for a referral or to call you back if they ever need you in the future. Or B, they tell you that they are still worried about it and it opens up a conversation with them about how you can help them. And the second question you can ask them, what other options are you considering? What other options? You've called me. Is there anybody else you're considering? Well, I'm, I'm considering taking pills or going back to the doctors. Well, what do you want to do that? You've already been to the doctors and you've already tried pills. Would it not be worth at least uh, trying a 30-minute free visit in my office? And I'll show you exactly how I can help you, what it's going to cost. I'll tell you exactly um, what we can do together, what you'll need to do at home, what I can do in my clinic, and so on and so forth. Significantly more likely to get a favorable outcome if I understand what other options that person is considering. So this system produces what we call trust matured. This is the problem. Any one of you right now that's getting pushback from patients, it's because there's no trust. Bottom line, accept it. Write it down. Trust matured. If somebody doesn't want to buy from you right now, it's because there is no trust. No matter what you say, they don't believe that they're going to get the outcome. When you have a nurture system, you develop trust matured. It's called development of prospects development of customers. My mentor, Dan Kennedy, taught me this years ago. It's called development or customer development. Little understood, little applied. Nobody wants to face up to it. But the reality is that I can develop customers. The reason I put out a daily fucking podcast is that because it speeds up the development of my, of my clients. It's, it takes people from random podcast listeners on a treadmill one Tuesday morning to very quickly wanting to enroll in programs or join my consultancy classes. That's trust matured. I share with them stories of my life. I tell them all about what I'm doing, my trials, my troubles, my tribulations, things that I'm learning, things that I'm seeing, things that pisses me off. I'm a real guy. I'm normal. I'm a human being with kids with shit going on in my life just as much as anybody else, but still managing to build successful businesses. I'm developing trust maturity in my clients through that podcast, through this webinar, through my books. It's happening to all of you right now. That's trust maturity. I feel like I know this guy. I can trust him. I understand him. He's just like me and so on and so forth. That's trust. Ask yourself, where is that in your business? Where? Where is trust maturity in your business? Or 
Are you going to do what all of the other broke practitioners do? Rely upon a few fucking qualifications after your name, which mean nothing anymore. Nothing. Everyone's a doctor of something these days. I was watching Shark Tank last night. Every fucking one that came on. Oh, my name's Dr. So-and-so. What are you actually a doctor in? Well, I'm a PhD in this. All right, not a real doctor? Not, 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 no, no, more confusion. We can't rely upon those things. We don't need letters after our name to have trust. But ultimately what people want is trust. And the difference between trust and not trusting is usually information and time. Time and information. Where in your business is it? If it isn't, remember this British accent in the next two or three years when your business has not changed. I'm going to say it again. Where is the trust maturity process in your business? The follow-up system, the nurture system, where is it? Remember, write this down. Remember this British accent in three years when nothing has changed in your business. And sadly for some of you, the pain will have to get worse before you believe me that this is the truth. Nothing will change for some of you for two or three years, only the pain and the frustration that will force you then to consider that this British accent might actually have something right going on here. Trust maturity is why people do not buy from you. No price, not out of network, not fucking economical conditions. Trust or a lack of it. And if you ain't got a system in your business for it, it will be a world of hurt for your business until you realize that you need it. Don't say, I didn't pass on the warning. If you take nothing else from this webinar, you need a trust maturity system, a nurture system in that business. There's one more system that you need. It's called a cash value system. This is where you make your money. This is where you get the, the, the big profits at the other end. You want the absolute value for your clinic from every single person that comes through the door. If you're going to spend money on marketing, having this system ensures that you get maximum value for your outspend. There's three ways to do it. One, automate the process of asking for referrals. Two, automate the reactivation of past patients. And number three, find as many ways as possible to resell to that same patient for the remainder of their life. How many people on this webinar, I wonder, 500 of you even are considering this type of thing? And you might say, oh, we, we ask for referrals. Really? If I came into your office, would it be systematic or would it be sporadic? Would it be absolutely nailed down at the same time, every point in the day you ask for my referral? Is it that I receive a letter, a set of emails, a phone call asking for my referral? I tell you now, unless you automate it, it don't get done. Reactivation of past patients. We get look. I, I love hearing this one from business owners. We get lots of our past patients coming back. I'm like, oh, tell me about the process you used to bring them back. Oh, well, we just wait till the call. We do such a good job. We're so good with our customer service. We just wait for them to call back. No, no, no. You mean you're lazy, you're shit, and you haven't put a system in play to make this automatic so that they come back more routinely. Because that's the reality. It's the same when people tell, oh, we don't need to market our business. I love this one from business owners. They're always broke, by the way, and bitching and whining and, and, and whinging about their business. Love this one. We don't need to have uh, marketing. No, we don't need marketing. We just rely upon word of mouth. Have done for 25 years. Uh, and I, how, How's that business working out for you? Well, it could be better. No shit, Sherlock. Could it be that you need a marketing system that actually brings more people through the front door? And if your word of mouth is that good, why not spend a little bit of money on marketing so more people know who you are to get more word of mouth? Heaven forbid, heaven forbid that that might be what we commit to in business to actually, you know, instead of passively waiting for somebody to talk about me, I actually promote this thing. I actually spend a few thousand dollars to make this thing go off like a rocket and in doing so get $10,000 back. Who knew? Or is it as typical, the usual bullshit that people come out with, complete and utter crap? The reality is that they just don't want to have to face up to marketing because they think it's beneath them. It's degrading. Their PT lecturer told them that you shouldn't have to market and what other bullshit that goes, goes on. Seriously, that's the norm out there right now. That's why so many people are struggling. Not because the conditions are unfavorable, because the thinking is dogmatic. The thinking is not even remotely what it needs to be for a business owner. And some of you I'm pissing off right now, and I know it, and I hope I am. I hope I'm pissing off a few of you enough to go, you know what, this might force a little bit of a change in me in the way that I think about this business because the possibility for your business is endless and it will be a crying shame for you not to make the most of it for a little bit of dogmatic thinking, following the crowd of the crappy PT business owners whinging 
about insurance companies and whatever other things that are out of their control. I can tell you now it's not insurance companies that your problem. Wherever you live, I'll know somebody who's making a shitload of money not worrying about insurance companies. That's how I know it's not insurance companies. It's not doctors because somebody in your town is making a shitload of money not needing a doctor. That's how I know it's not doctors. It's that you've relied upon doctors. You relied upon insurance companies. You thought that it was always going to pay you $200 reimbursements. Not the case anymore. There are so many ways to build this business. The question is, which one are you going to start with? There's three ways. Three ways to maximize value. Best time to ask for referrals within 72 hours of people booking an appointment. Not wait until the end. Do not wait till the end. Oh, but Paul, everybody waits till the end. I know, and most people are broke, so we won't follow them either. At this time, they are delighted. Here's why you will get more referrals after 72 hours. At this time, they are delighted to have made the decision and most likely want somebody else to feel as good as them. Or, have you ever thought about this one? Considered going through physical therapy with them. The best way to do this is by offering, guess what? Oh, information. Think about how many patients tell you that they'll recommend you versus how many of their friends actually arrive. Very low. Risky. It's risky for them to recommend. And by and large, they forget. And here's the other one that people don't even factor in in our naivety of building this business. What the hell do they say? Go and see Paul. Why, why should I go and see Paul? Paul's great. Paul got me to take my clothes off, got me to lie on the bed and stuck his elbow in my back. He stretched my leg into a position that's never, ever been before. It hurt like crazy. And then what he did, he twisted my leg around, got me to stretch to this position I've never even thought possible. It was very painful at the time. But you know what? After the three days of torture and the pain that I felt after his first session with me, it was really good. It was really beneficial to me. And the real best thing is, it cost me $200. That's how most people explain what you do. That's why they don't come. After all of that torture, the caveat is, and you have to pay for that. If I'm sat there on a cup of coffee with my friend and they've just told me that you've done all this shit to me, well, I ain't going there. You know, I'd rather go to the dentist. At least he sticks a needle in me and it's over. I don't feel anything for a few minutes after it. That sounds like hell for an hour. And you want me to pay $200 for it? It's why you've got to give them information. Reports, FAQs, videos, testimonials. Here's what the value really is. We do it like this. Polgoff.com or polgoffphysio.com forward slash friends. It's a web page where people can send their friends to and request information from us easily. Every month, five or 10 opt-ins from that on average leads to three or four or five patients every month just because of that simple web link through a patient for, for referrals. It's fabulous. I did that five, six years ago. Typical patient, let's say, let's say round numbers five a month thousand dollars 60 grand a year for the last five years quarter of a million dollars on that one web page in the last five years one referral source took me a day the people who follow that step and opt in for the free information they then enter our nurture system and the whole process starts again it is explosive if you do this i promise you all if you do this even 10 percent of some of this You'll, your, your business it's not going to be exactly where you want it to be if you only do 10 percent. but you're going to be a hell of a lot better off than worrying about all of the you know chasing doctors and insurance companies and so on so you need three systems you cannot exist most people are just relying upon you know friends and family and all that stuff and that's why they're in pain or they're relying upon a couple of doctors that's why they're in pain so it's totally up to you that works it's worked now for 600 plus clinic owners around the world it certainly is working for me uh, and many many clients across the world so the three systems uh that you need and I can tell you from experience, this is what happens to patients. This is the impact that having these types of systems makes upon patients. I've been hearing about you from people I know. For months. I've been reading or watching your stuff for months. I'd like to make an appointment. It seems everyone I know has something good to say about you. Will you take me on as well? It finally occurred to me that having read your article, you are the right place for me. Thanks for staying with me. I wonder if I can make that appointment. Those are words that come out of my patient's mouth. How many of you hear anything like that? Consistently. Or how many of you here, uh, hello, I got your number off somebody, how much do you charge? Hello, uh, I stumbled across your website, uh, I'd like some information, how much is it? Or hello, do you take my insurance? If you get in any version of that, even this one's bad. Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Smith sent me to you. 
Oh, you're, so you're only coming because Dr. Smith told you. Yeah, yeah. So you know nothing about me. No, nothing at all. All right. You're going to get a sticker shock when I tell you the price in a minute. This is the problem. So having these three systems in place at your practice will help you achieve the figure that you wrote down in the plan. Remember how all of this ties together. The plan tells you how many new leads you need, and it is the job of the system to get them for you. So you must have all three. One thing to consider, take this to bed tonight and sleep on it. There are only 7% of people that are actively confident and ready to book a PT now. If you chase doctors, you're in the 7% crowd. If you follow my marketing principles, it opens up the 93% of people who've got problems that you can solve who just don't know what to do. You can chase the 7% if you want, which is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the pie goes because more people are chasing it. If you just be brave and you come across to the 93, even basic marketing messages resonate with people who want to spend money with you. Not that difficult. If all you ever do is run an advert that says, I'm a physical therapist, call today, nobody will respond. This type of marketing exposes you to 93%, 10 or 15 times more people who need what you've got. They just need some questions answering first. So here's the question. How much more profitable could your clinic be with this type of system in play? I wonder. I wonder. Let's find out. This is the magic. You ready? Take a deep breath. Get your pen and paper at hand. Let's see what this is really worth to you. And I'm going to show you all 500 how close you are now. This is the profitability potential formula that we, we give to clients. You ready? 